In the world of classical cryptography, some ciphers stood the test of time, not because they were unbreakable, but because they were deceptively clever. One of the most famous is the Visionaire cipher, once considered the indecipherable cipher. The Visionaire cipher is a method of encrypting alphabetic text by using a keyword to shift each letter of the plain text by different amounts. Let's imagine Alice and Bob want to communicate over a distance and ensure their messages are protected by encryption. First, they need to agree on and share a secret key that they'll use to encrypt and decrypt their messages. Now, suppose Alice wants to send a message to Bob. She encrypts the message using the shared secret key and the Visionaire cipher, then sends the encrypted message to Bob. If an eavesdropper named Eve intercepts the message, all she sees is ciphertext, an unreadable string of characters that makes no sense without the key. When Bob receives the encrypted message, he uses the same secret key to decrypt it and recover the original message that Alice sent. Let's explore how encryption works in the Visionaire cipher. First, we select a key, a short word of length M. In this case, our key is key. We now want to encrypt a message, also called the plain text. The message is, hello world. To begin, we repeat the key enough times to match the length of the plain text, but we ignore non-letter characters like spaces. Each letter in the alphabet corresponds to a number. A is 0, B is 1, etc., and Z is 25. We'll convert each letter of the plain text into its number using this mapping. We do the same for the key. Now we add the corresponding numbers of the plain text and key together, letter by letter. If the result is greater than 25, we apply modulo 26 to bring it back within range. This gives us a new sequence of numbers. This is our ciphertext in numeric form. Finally, we convert these numbers back to letters, again using the same alphabet mapping. And that gives us our final encrypted message, or ciphertext, R-I-J-V-S-U-Y-V-J-N. Let's now decrypt this message. We use the same key, now convert each letter of the ciphertext into its numerical equivalent. Do the same for each letter in the key. For each letter, we subtract the key's value from the ciphertext's value. For example, R17 minus K10 gives us 7. But what if the result is negative? To fix this, we add 26. This guarantees that all values are positive. Finally, we apply modulo 26 to all results. This wraps any large numbers back into our 0 to 25 alphabet range. Now we convert the numbers back to letters. 7 is H, 4 is E, and so on. Piece by piece, the message reveals itself. And there it is, the decrypted plain text, Hello World. In the 16th century, when the Visionaire cipher was invented, it was more convenient to use a Visionaire table for encryption and decryption instead of relying on arithmetic. 
The table consists of the alphabet repeated in each row, with each subsequent row shifted one position to the left. To encrypt a message, we find the row labeled with the key letter and the column labeled with the plain text letter. The intersection gives the cipher text letter. Let's try encrypting the word hello with the key key. We repeat the key to match the length of the plain text. The first letter H, column, and K, row, give R. E and E give I. L and Y give J. L and K give V. O and E give S. So the encrypted message is R-I-J-V-S. Decryptions using the Visionaire table works a bit differently. For each letter in the ciphertext, start with the row labeled by the key letter. Then, look across that row to find the ciphertext letter. The column where it appears tells you the plain text letter. Repeating this for every letter, we successfully decrypt the message back to the original word. Hello. Let's look at the letter frequency in this original text. The most common letter is E, followed by T, and so on. This closely matches the typical frequency of letters in English. Now, after we encrypt the text using the key, we get this new ciphertext. Its frequency analysis looks very different. As you can see, it's now much harder to detect any clear pattern between the ciphertext and the original text. In this sequence, we encrypt the same plain text using keys of increasing length. At each step, we add one more letter to the key. As the key gets longer, the letter frequency distribution of the ciphertext becomes more uniform. This shows that the Visionaire cipher becomes more secure when using longer keys. The Visionaire cipher is no longer considered secure because there are effective methods to break it. One of the most well-known techniques is the Kasiski examination, which finds repeated patterns in the ciphertext to estimate the key length. Another method is the index of coincidence, which uses statistical properties of language like how often certain letters appear, to help crack the cipher. So, an eavesdropper like Eve doesn't need the secret key. She can use these techniques instead to eventually recover the original message.